I have missed you guys so much. I feel like we've got a lot of catching up to do. It has been a crazy couple of weeks here in Texas. If you are in the Texas area or were at all affected by the recent snowstorms, I hope you are doing okay. We were very fortunate to not have any long-term damage to our home. We did lose power for about 60 hours, which meant we had no power, like no heat, no lights, no any of that. We also didn't have internet. We didn't have um, cell phone service for all that time. It was just pretty bad. Like uh, we had limited cell phone service, I should say. It was really, really, really spotty, but we're obviously doing a lot better. We never lost gas and we did not lose water. Even though we did have to start boiling our water, we did not lose water during the time so we were doing so much better than a lot of other you know homes and family so I do feel really blessed that for the most part even though we had some rough couple of days we actually walked out of it you know doing doing okay and, and we're fine now everything's back to normal you know at our home and stuff like that so you know very very thankful for that for sure but if you were at all affected by that I hope that you are finally doing better and you guys are warm and you're safe and you have power and all of the things um, it definitely was a very rough week for Texas as well. As you can see, I am out and about shopping and I figured I would bring you guys along with me. I know how much you love to do a little bit of shopping. I do have a few things on my list, but first up, always. I always start a Lux Mommy vlog with something to drink. I actually stopped by the convenience store and I got one of these by Bubbles. This is the Peru pineapple flavor. I have not tasted this one, but I'm super, super excited to try it. I keep two of these Brewmate slips insulators in my car now I am a roommate partner so they do send me they sent me like a ton of them I love these if you drink true truly's or white claws they fit perfectly like look at how awesome this is and because it's the slimline one it actually fits in my cup holder perfectly so let's go ahead and get our little sip on and go do a little bit of shopping okay that pineapple is really really good I'm gonna have to pick up a case of those I really like the buy sparklers but like I said, if you drink Trulies or White Claws or anything that is like the 12 ounce slim can, these insulators are perfect. This is actually called the Hopsulator Slim. I don't know about you guys, but I just can't do the room temperature or warm drinks that are supposed to be cold. I like my drinks to be ice cold. I keep this one and I also keep this one in my car. This is like the white marble, but the Leopard on Leopard is my favorite favorite i love this one but i like to keep two of them in here just one for me and one for a passenger just in case you just never know they're under 25 bucks and they do have a bunch of other insulator options so like i said make sure to check out the links down below this one is made of insulated stainless steel so it is 20 times better than your standard foam koozie it really does make my drinks a lot a lot colder so like i said make sure to check out the links down below but let's go ahead and go inside and get a little shopping done Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool I had to stop by the candle aisle. I thought this container jar was so cute. It's by Ray Dunn. So even after I use the candle, I could use this as like a jar for pens or maybe even like makeup brushes. So I don't have anywhere for these, but these are really beautiful and the price is good. They're $29.99. They're a pretty good size. And the coloring is really nice. Let me turn it around so y'all can see it a little better. Actually, I don't know if that's the right way or not. You could probably mount it any way that you wanted, but those colors are so pretty and a really nice thick mat. I made a stop and get another one of these. I'm almost finished and it is so, so good. So I, it has been so long since I've been into a home goods. Um, I don't know. They're just so overwhelming to me. Um, I don't know. They're just so overwhelming. So I just can't stay in them 
as long as I used to be. I used to be able to go into Home Goods and I could be there for hours. I don't know why all like just more recently they just feel way too overwhelming for me. So I didn't stay as long as I was hoping. I was planning on really kind of spending some time in there. Um, I did end up getting two things I wanted to go and share with you. Oh, he taped them up here. I'm going to open them anyway because I'm going to share. I got the cutest candle. They have so many candles like they always do. They always have a ton, ton of candles. But I fell in love with this jar. I thought it was so pretty. It was $14.99. It's a three wick. Oh, oh my goodness. That smells amazing. It is called Simmering Spices. It says inspired by a California coast soy wax. And it's from the company Sand and Fog. I just thought it was such a beautiful, beautiful candle and it smells amazing. It's like cinnamony and spicy. Mm, I love it, love it, love it. Cannot wait to put this up. I think it'd be pretty for Easter decor too because it's just really, really white. Even though it doesn't smell very Eastery, I think it looks it. It's really, really pretty. I've been looking for one of these for a while and I just haven't found one the size that I wanted, but I knew if I ever came across one, I would get one. I want to put it in my office or maybe, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it to be honest, but what I got is this beautiful rose quartz stone. It'll just be like a decorative piece. I just thought it was such a beautiful size and the coloring is really pretty. Look at the bottom, how it's got like a little bit of um, almost kind of like orangey rust color. Um, so I'll just put it on something like that, right? Isn't that pretty? This was $24.99, which I did not think was a bad price at all for that large of a rose quartz. This will be my first like full size stone. I do have some mini stones that I use sometimes, but I've wanted to get like a really nice big rose quartz, at least to kind of maybe start my collection. So that is everything that I ended up getting from Home Goods. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Target or not. I was hoping to get like a perfume tray. That was one of the things that I wanted to go into Home Goods for. And I saw some really pretty ones, but they were in like a silver metal. And I'm really looking for a gold metal. That's just my preferred accent color right now. Um, but they did have some really pretty ones. They just all were like silver toned. So I still am on the hunt for that. And I also wanted to get a few new clothes, maybe like some dresses and jeans. I'm trying to think where else I could go look for like a perfume tray. I might have to order one. I did see a really cute one online that I liked, but I was hoping that I could see something in person just so I could get a, a, you know a good feel for the size i wonder if world market would have something maybe we'll go up there but i definitely want to go check out some clothes so let's go see what we can find lighting in here is horrible but I came across this like classic button down it's got these oversized pockets I always love a good button down this is a really good closet essential I have it tied up but of course you could do a front tuck you could wear it longer with like leggings I thought this was really cute I'm wearing a small so I would say it runs through to size really really comfortable fit long sleeve you could roll them up it's just, a, like I said, a good year-round staple. I also love the thickness of this material. It's not too thick, it's not heavy, it like drapes really nicely, but as you can see, it is not see-through, so I will be grabbing this one. I really like the fit of this one. It's really nice and flowy. The weight is really nice and lightweight, making it perfect for spring. You've got this, I don't remember what you call this, but you've got the little tie detail here so you can 
Do a little tie if you want. I like it opened. You've got the sleeve detail. And hopefully you can see, you've got a little polka dot, but it also has a stripe, like a pin stripe. Very, very subtle, like, like print on print, if that makes sense. I really like the way this one fits and it runs true to size. I'm wearing a small. It is so hot and humid. Only in Texas can you go from 30 degrees to 85 within the course of a week. It's ridiculous. But I wanted to share these shorts that I also grabbed as well. I did get the button up shirt. I think that would look perfect with these shorts. I did get these in a size small. They have pockets. They also come in navy and they had a ton of shorts. I think I did get a little video clip of them, but I love their shorts. They're always a really, really good length. So they're not too short. I cannot do the super short shorts so they're not too short and they always fit really nicely and I love when they have like that little touch of a pleat and then a pocket but the material on these are super soft I'll make sure to link these down below I also got two skincare items that I've been wanting to try I actually saw a TikTok from I think her name is her name Michaela she's super popular she has like millions of followers on TikTok and she talked about these two products. I have never bought anything from this particular line and I didn't even get to try out the testers because they're not allowed allowing you to use testers or anything but I did get two of the products. First one is a toner. It is the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA pore tightening toner. It's hydrating and pore refining. Oh I cannot wait to try this let me just see how it oh there's like a little thing hold on let me open it up all the way there's like a little it's okay I'll grab that in a second um, I just want to feel it Ooh, I can definitely tell it's super hydrating um, it's such a bummer that we can't do like the testers or anything oh yeah okay it definitely has a really strong watermelon smell I will admit I don't love watermelon I know I'm probably in the minority here but i i don't eat any melons watermelon cantaloupe any of that stuff um, but there's a there's another smell here that i can't quite oh it's cactus oh that's so different okay so i'm excited to try this oh wow look at my hand i don't know if that's going to come up on camera but i put some on my hand do you see that glow oh my goodness i cannot wait to try this okay so i also got this is the serum um, my skin has been so dehydrated lately and when I saw I love to use skincare a lot of times I'll hop on stories and y'all see my skin is looking super super dewy I want that look during the day that is the look that I want during the day so this is the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops ultimate glow and brightening so let's see I'll put that I'll layer that over the toner has the same smell but it's kind of hard since I put it right over the toner I might be smelling the toner too oh that that feels really really good okay so it has the same smell but it is a lot lighter of a scent the toner is actually really strong okay so let's see what this looks like it feels really good not sticky actually at all not sticky at all okay do you see the glow and look at this hand nothing on it look at the glow hopefully that is coming up on camera but yeah i definitely see the glow that is so pretty look at the difference hopefully you can see it i cannot wait to try this on my skin i'm super excited it feels really good really hydrated but not um not sticky at all I cannot wait to try both of these. So I'll make sure to link these down below if you're looking for some new skincare products and you're looking for that glow, that hydration. Check these out. I'll let y'all know how I like them. Let me let me use them for a week or two and then I'll give you guys a little updated review. They always have the cutest holiday stuff. Look at this unicorn Easter basket. 
and these are so cute love the sloths oh that's so cute okay i am loving these little grow kits they have a lavender one and a sunflower one i feel like this would be something that i could do with the boys it says it includes everything all you have to do is add water so i think i'm going to get one of each of these let me see how much they are these would be a good little Easter gift too. I can't see how much they are. I'll try to link them down below if you can order them online, but I think these are so cute. They always have really nice salts and things like that. This would be so pretty in a guest bathroom. I am gonna get these. This is a foot soak of therapeutic blends of shea butter, tea tree, and eucalyptus oil. So I'll get that. I love to always have salts on hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these like shower scrubbers as well i need a new one for the shower speaking of like guest bathroom these like rose soaps are so pretty to leave out for guests because they can just use a petal instead of the entire bar like wasting a bar so these are really really pretty to have on hand and they have pink and they have like a mix and then like a lavender look at those over there those are really pretty these tiered like basket organizers are so pretty this would be so pretty in a bathroom you could do a layer of hand towels a layer of towels and like a layer of essential products here's another one that's more like rectangular but i love this one i think this is really really pretty okay these might be the cutest hand towels ever look at these oh, and the piping is really cute as well Look at the actual bath towel. Oh, these are so cute. I really like those. They always have the best towels. See, these are pretty too. Look at these, that texture. Love those. They always have the prettiest bath towels. Ooh, these are really pretty. Look at these. Those are really nice. Ooh, these are soft. I am trying to think if I have a use for these jars because this is so pretty. Again, perfect in a guest bathroom for like Q-tips and cotton balls, right? And then you even have a little soap dish. So pretty. And here's like a little hand soap. Oh, I love all this. Oh, I actually have this one. Ooh, look at this. For a bar of soap. That's so pretty. My kids are way too old for this type of stuff, but if you are ever looking for like wood type of toys for kiddos, they also have just an amazing selection of like natural and I'm not sure how to explain it, but they just carry a really nice variety of things here. Like look at all of these toys, books, lots of things here. Let me show you. Look at these dolls over here. If I had a little girl, oh, these are so cute. Look at these. Are those not just the cutest thing ever? And they have several of them. And look at the little chairs. Oh, just the chair alone is just adorable. Look at these. Look at how cute. So cute. I know the lighting in here is horrible and it doesn't help that I'm wearing a hat, but I am looking for like a little to-do list for the boys. I am starting to give them like tasks that they're responsible for. You know, they have their chores and their responsibilities and if I ask them to do something, I want them to start to be more responsible and accountable for the things that I ask them to do. So I want to buy them like little like notebooks or to-do lists that they can write down their own tasks and kind of keep track of it and then make sure that they get them done. I did see one. Let me show you the one that I found. So I found these, which are actually probably perfect. They're just huge. They're 150 pages. So they're just really, really big. But I might go ahead and get this and maybe add these to their Easter basket. So I stopped into Whole Foods. I didn't get a lot. I just grabbed some bananas, some oranges, some apples, cherry tomatoes, some salmon. And then I picked up these. I thought these would be a nice little snack or even meal if I have it with some like fruit or something. I also got some more of the cassava flour um, CRA tortillas. These are really good. And I am in the milk aisle. Someone recommended the chocolate oat milk, but I don't see it. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to try that. I found it. 
I hope this is the one, but someone said to try the chocolate oatmeal at Whole Foods, and this is the only one that I see, so I'll go ahead and give it a try. It has been the longest day, and I'm all finished with my buy, but I found these in World Market. They're by a brand called Petal. I've never heard of them. They are sparkling waters. This one is called Peach Marigold with a hint of basil. Doesn't that sound so yummy? And then this one is Lychee Rose. So I thought I would go ahead and grab it because I am so thirsty. That lychee rose just sounds so yummy. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, that is different. Mm, not sure that I love it. But it works because I am so, so thirsty. It may not feel like it on your end, but it has been the longest day. It is actually dinner time now. So I'm gonna head home just in time for dinner. Um, I didn't have to get a lot of groceries. I got so many groceries week before last during like the whole snowstorm just to have a little extra on hand that I really just needed to get some, you know, fruits and vegetables and stuff. So I really didn't get a whole lot. I did get the boys those notepads. I think they will like them, even though these were just a little bit thicker than I was planning on getting. Um, I'll just throw them in their Easter baskets. But like I said, I really am trying to have them kind of take a little bit more responsibility for their responsibilities, be a little bit more accountable for them. Um, so I thought this would be a really great way to start to teach them how to, um, you know, have lists and make lists and hold themselves accountable to those lists. I, are, are you guys list people? I am a list person. I am a total type A. I like lists. I like having like knowing what needs to be done and like writing my list down and then checking my list off. I feel so accomplished whenever I'm able to check something off my list. So hopefully they will learn to use lists as well or at least figure out whatever their method of madness is. I'm totally fine with whatever their method is. Just kind of, you know, being a little bit more accountable. But I am gonna head back home. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will give a little mom confession. Sometimes I just need to get out of the house by myself, have a little girl time with you guys, do a little shopping. I know this may not have been the funnest vlog in the whole wide world. Hopefully it was fun for you guys. I always love bringing you guys along. As always, I will make sure to link everything down below. I'm sure I'll get some questions about my sunny, so I'll link those down below. Oh, and by the way, I did get some new earrings. Are these not so much fun? Y'all know how much I love two-tone. These are two-tone. They have an outer rim of gold and the inside is twisted with a sterling silver. Are they not so pretty? So I will link these down below. They're a really, really nice size, but they're super, super lightweight. I'll link my stack and I don't know if this exact watch is in stock, but I do have one that's really, really similar that I can link below for you guys. And I do think that this, um, this shirt is still in stock. So I'll link that down below for y'all as well. Don't forget to check out the links for the Brewmate um, Slim, like Hopsolator Slim down below as well. But just in general, check out their website. They've got a lot of amazing things. I am kind of obsessed with insulated cups and just cups to kind of have on hand. I've said this a thousand times. I need my drinks to be cold and I really, really love this brand. So make sure to check them out down below. Also, just a quick shout out to Brewmate. Thanks for sending these over and gifting them to me so that I can share them with you guys in a video. I think that is it. Before you head out, make sure to check out one of these and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Never up, never down, never